So last time we talked about the hinge and uh, went through the GD and T and had some good discussion about it. Here we're going to have uh, open the hinge here in Creo. So we have the one hinge half open in Creo and, and demonstrate how GD and T Advisor, which is a Sigmetrics product, can uh, guide you through proper application of GD and T, functional GD and T at that. Um, first, uh, the model had to be sort of tweaked to uh, convert that hole into two surface regions. Um, and now you'll see we're starting with picking a feature to be our primary datum feature. It's a planar surface. Pick that bottom surface. It recognized it as a planar surface and actually recommended to use flatness to qualify that. Um, and there was a little checkbox that uh, automatically identified that as datum feature A. Uh, next, if we move on to datum feature B, Right, we split that hole into two surface regions and collected that. Uh, and then the reason we split that into two regions was so that we could add, in what you'll see here in a second, um, the continuous feature modifier. So that is a feature of size. Um, here we're going to add that continuous feature modifier as well as the true position uh, tolerance to qualify that. And there you see now we have datum feature B qualified um, as a feature of size along with its true position tolerance. And you can see there it added the datum feature symbol as well to that. And again, it, it actually recommended true position as the optimal tolerance type to qualify this datum feature. And here you can see we had the flexibility to change the placement of that uh, of that datum feature symbol to hang off the bottom of the feature control frame. Um, lastly here, we're going to define the width of that slot you see there in between the two um, uh, holes as datum feature C. Right, That's going to be a feature of size, the width of a slot. It recognized that feature as a slot. Uh, it's also per recommending to use perpendicularity as the geometric tolerance uh, um, feature to qualify it right? and then it automatically uh, created our size dimension as well as the perpendicularity tolerance and uh, gave us the option to identify that as datum feature C all in one uh, one workflow there. Um, next uh, we're going to go then and continue to tolerance the rest of the model so here we picked that flat face as well as those two fillets. Um, it recommended a uh, surface profile tolerance and uh, we just completed the rest of it. We wanted that to be a surface profile of 0.5 back to datum features A, B, and C using a max material boundary modifier for datum feature C. Right, um, and here uh, you can actually see we're updating that uh, datum reference frame, right? It by default applied the MMB modifier to that. We didn't want that, so we had to go back and edit the definition of that datum reference frame to remove that. Notice it automatically updated any geometric tolerances that were using that datum reference frame. Um, so now we're doing the extrude feature there. Same thing, we're picking the geometry. It recognized that as a feature and um, recommended surface profile as well as reusing that same datum reference frame. Uh, we're doing the same thing here with the holes, right? And that's actually um, a pattern. So we are able to select all three of those holes. And it's going to recognize that as a pattern of holes. And then it'll also recommend which uh, geometric tolerances to use to qualify those holes. Um, and then we can complete the definition by providing a uh, true position uh, value. Uh, well, actually, first here we're uh, applying a size tolerance for the size of the hole. Um, and then we can further define this with our true position. So we have our size um, tolerance as well as our positional tolerance. Um, so now that features... Uh, fully constrained in both location, size, form, and orientation. Uh, now we'll move on to the chamfers. And again, there's three of those. So um, pick those features. It recognizes that as a pattern. 
it recommends a surface profile tolerance type and uh, we just give it a tolerance value and there we have those three surfaces with a tolerance of 0 0.02 applied uh, back to that same datum reference frame a b and c uh, next we will tolerance the top of this hinge plate so it recognized that as a planar surface feature um, there again it, it's recommending the surface profile tolerance to uh, be used here and that one actually we're just going to the datum reference frame of A because we're really only interested in uh, its relationship to datum feature A uh, which is really the, going to control the thickness of that plate. So that we don't have to have a consumer query the model to find out what that thickness is, we're going to go ahead and add a basic dimension here to give you that information. Um, so while that's being finished, I just want to summarize, right, GD&T Advisor was able to be used to select the features that the desire was to set, um, establish them as datum features, provided some advice, uh, hence the GD&T Advisor name, of how to qualify those features. Um, as the datum features were qualified, it was just uh, creating those datum reference frames that could be used for other geometric tolerances. And then the same workflow approaches, you could select the features and it would add the necessary geometric tolerances as well as any size dimensions necessary to fully define those features. Thank you and I hope you en uh, enjoyed the demo.